Hello, welcome back to another vlog. If you've never been here before, hi, I'm Kirsty. Welcome, welcome to my channel. A little bit about me, if you don't know, um, I make videos. Obviously, I make videos on travel. I've got a Japan series, I've got a China series, and I've got a little Aberdeen, Scotland series. I basically just vlog my life. So, hi, welcome, nice to have you. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. Yeah, so it's the weekend. It's Saturday. So far I have done absolutely nothing. We took a drive out to Ellen and my dad had to go to a kilt shop out there so that has been the day so far. Nothing exciting. Um, I think we'd have lunch and then who knows. I have no plans. This week's vlog is going to be as a surprise for me as it's a surprise for you. See what happens. <laughs> Might be seeing Holly later. If we end up doing something, I'll take you along. Uh, who knows what this vlog will bring? Exciting! Today's wee outfit of the day is this maybe baby jumper, which is from Joni Clothing. I kindly got gifted this two years ago? One and a half years ago? One year ago? Something like that. I love this jumper. I wear it so often. And I've tucked it in to this beige camel coloured skirt from Topshop. I picked this up in the sale last week but it was down to a tenner. So cheap. £10 for this skirt. I think it was originally like 34 so absolute bargain. It fits like a dream. So I chucked this on to go out with my Gucci bag and my blue jacket from Zara. You've probably seen my other one. I've got three of them. I've got a green one, a blue one, I've got a blue one, a green one, and I've got a camel coloured one. I always wear my camel coloured one, but last week I picked up two other colours. So I thought I'd chuck on the blue one today and it went really, really nicely. goodness. So it's now much later in the day than I last spoke to you. Oh, hello. Um, it's now almost quarter to seven. Um, so a good six hours has passed since I last spoke to you. It's been a bit crazy, hasn't it, Doggo? He's got drool all over his face. <gasps> Don't you? We had him up to my parents and the two, my parents' dog and him are both puppies. There's two months between them. They are crazy. That was the most stressful couple of hours. <laughs> We'd have them on leads the whole time and they were just snapping at each other, biting, rough play, jumping on each other in the house as well. Not just outside, in the house. So yeah, that went really well. Hopefully they do get used to each other. They're, they are both puppies. They'll both calm down eventually, but they're so hyper together. If either of them are with... Um, on walks and they meet other dogs they're fine they don't play like that it's just when they meet each other um i don't know if it's like a dominance thing i don't know if it's just because they're puppies i don't know do it pups these are just wild but anyway glad that's over glad the fam got to see him again because it's been a wee while but um yeah so i think i'm going to have a mcdonald's standard quick tea and then i think i'm going out with holly i think she'll be picking me up and I think we'll go for coffee or something like that, but you'll see us when we're doing that. So that is my Saturday, guys. came out to Pit Meadon Woods. So this is part of Pit Meadon Gardens and we are going around on the woodland walk today, which is like a 45 minute walk around all the all the woodlands of Pit Meadon Gardens. Essentially, uh, because we've got a dog, we can only kind of stick to this path, but if you don't have a dog, you can come look, have a look at the walled garden, you can go to the tea house, all that fun stuff. But today we thought we would just have a wander around the woodlands 
since we've got pup, um, see what it's got to offer. Yeah, it looks like there's little ponds and little streams all the way through. Lots of trees, as you would imagine. And yeah, I'm sure there'll be lots of wildlife potting about that we can find. Far, we've seen some horses and we've seen some sheep and some cows. All, all farmland animals. I'm actually off work today. It is a public holiday here in Aberdeen. It's been a nice chilled morning. I got up, had a cup of tea in bed, watched some YouTube. But now I'm like desperate to go on holiday. Um, I was watching Emma's Rectangles vlogs. Today I watched her Bolivia one and her Colombia one. And yesterday I watched her Peru one. And I just want to travel South America so bad now. Yeah, I'd love to have a proper trip all the way around South America, see everything that I can see. That actually was meant to be the plan for next year, actually, like we did discuss doing that next year, like earlier on this year, but with how things are going, I doubt we're going to get international holidays next year, even, we might not even get Europe holidays next year, so it is what it is. Um, it means I can save more money for an amazing holiday in 2022, perhaps. We'll see. But um, yeah, that is, that's been my morning. We're going into town later. I think we're going out for like late lunch, early tea sort of situation. So that's kind of the plans. Um, you'll have seen yesterday that we went to Pitmerin Gardens Woods, uh, the woodlands around the Pitmerin Gardens. Was it worth it? Probably not. If you're after like, a short walk, I'd say yeah, sure. You get to see some um, farmland animals. It's obviously a woodland walk. It's pretty self-explanatory what you're gonna see. You're gonna see woods, you're gonna see trees, you're gonna see mud you're gonna see all that fun stuff that you would usually see but it didn't it was it only took us like half an hour and that's not even long enough for my dog so we had to then we came back to Aberdeen and then went on another walk <laughs> just around where we live yeah don't go there especially but if you don't have a dog you can go and see the gardens I'm definitely gonna go and go back and do that someday um because the gardens the walled gardens do look really nice and um, you can go and sit in the tea room have a cup of tea and enjoy your day. So one day when the dog isn't needing a walk and we can go out and about, um, that is what I'm, sorry, I keep looking at my hair cause it's like purple. Um, that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, maybe next week's adventures will be a little bit more exciting. Maybe a castle, Haddo house, things like that. I've got a long list of things that I want to go and explore with the puppy and film for you guys. So you can also see, you can plan your visits and travel a little bit of Aberdeen, Aberdeenshire with me. The like most excitement I can get for travel at the moment because I can't go on holiday. And holidays are like what I live for, so we'll get there, we'll get back there. I'll get the travel content eventually. But for now, it's Aberdeen, Aberdeenshire and we've got some lovely spots, so I can't really complain. back from food we went to the dutch mill tonight i am absolutely stuffed so i had nachos which were the chili and cheese nachos oh, 
They were incredible. If you go to the Dutch mill and you like nachos, get the nachos, they were great. Then I went for a curry and I sh shouldn't have gone for a curry because it was chicken, I don't like chicken. <laughs> and it wasn't that great, I didn't really enjoy it, I won't lie. But the nachos was really nice and I had a gin, so that was, that was good. Then we nipped into town, we had some stuff to put back to shops. I did pick up this jacket which was in the sale from Topshop down to £15 from £59 and it's just this sort of you know winter kind of jacket and it's like this fluffy sort of I don't know what kind of material made with yarn so I don't know if you can actually properly see but this is my jacket I thought that would be nice for work or sort of like a bit like this jacket but more a bit a little bit thicker for when the winter comes and yeah for 15 pounds i couldn't really say no that was my day guys so i am gonna leave it here thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed um it was pretty laid back this week yeah make sure if you're not already to be subscribed uh comment like all that jazz and i'll see you in the next one